Hello, everyone, and welcome to this session. My name is Kirsten Oskoglund, and I am the North Programmability Practice Lead. And I am super excited to be here today to share with you what we're doing in North when it comes to programmability. I'm going to be sharing a couple of the highlights of the projects that we've been working on the last year and what our goal is for the next coming year. So first of all, who are we? We have programmability makers uh, spread across all of the northern countries, but in each country, we have a local programmability champion that is leading all of the initiatives and the projects. So if your organization is about to start your programmability journey and you need some support or you need some inspiration, please reach out to your local Cisco representative in order to get touch with your local Cisco programmability team. So some of the highlights of FY21, the projects, the programmability projects that have, we have been working on with in North. So in Finland, the Finnish team has prepared an inspiring prototype to Finnish schools that ut utilizes WebEx SDKs and APIs. So the idea was to showcase how well WebEx can integrate to existing systems through programmability and how bots can greatly simplify communications and automation. In Sweden, we had the first DevNet specialized partner and the team was working very closely together with other partners as well to get them DevNet specialized. They have also put a great effort in order to create a, a partner study group community in order to help their local partners achieve their DevNet associate certification. In Denmark, the team has worked very closely with the biggest partners in order to help them on the onboarding and adoption of programmability, and that work is continuously is continuing also today. In Norway, we have the team that has been working with the Net Academy DevNet Association training for the education sector, so they have put down an enormous effort in order to train both partners and teachers in order for them to get their DevNet Associate certification. In the Netherlands, throughout the whole pandemic, they have been working on delivering virtual DevNet workshops in order to keep the programmability momentum up and help both partners and customers start their journey and make sure that it is not paused just because of the pandemic. And last but not least, the team in Belgium, they have created their own ACI extended networking and programmability workshops where they're building microservices on top of ACI in a fully automated CICD pipeline. Now they're using this workshop, they're doing this workshop with uh, local ACI customers in order to bring them to the next level. A huge highlight from North, which is, we are very proud of and very excited about, is our DevNet specialized partners. We have four partners across North that, that have uh, achieved their DevNet specialization. So big congr congratulations to Mirodot in Sweden, SDNIT in Sweden, Conscia in Denmark, and Roots in the Netherlands. We're super, super excited about this, and we're very excited to see where this journey will, will lead you guys. Some of the priorities of FY22 for programmability in North is that we are going to work more as a team across the northern countries in order to reach a common goals, share knowledge and resources across North. Whether that means that we're, we will be delivering common uh, events or workshops across the northern countries, or if we just share knowledge and resources with each other. We want to help more partners get DevNet Specialized. That is going to be a huge goal for this year. We want to help our custo customers and keep helping our customers on their programmability journeys, independently if they are completely beginners from scratch or if they have already started their journey and need some inspiration and need advice. For partners, we will be running a common North programmability event we will, where we will be focusing more on business value and what value programmability can bring to the business. So if you are from a partner, stay tuned because more information is coming. Apart from these um, initiatives, we will be keep uh, the momentum up by running local DevNet Express events and workshops. We will be doing some local hackathons in some location. 
locations. And an ambition is that we will be running local certification study groups across North. A little call out, whether you're a partner or a customer, if your team is using programmability and DevNet in order to automate, in, innovate and integrate on your current Cisco platform, we want to hear about your projects. We want to hear about it and we want to give you visibility about it. We want to inspire others and we want to get inspired by seeing what you're doing and how you're developing on top of Cisco. And Lastly, if your organization is at the beginning of its programmability journey and would like some support, some guidance, some inspiration, please contact your local programmability champion. We are here to assist you. We are here to listen to you, to deliver workshops. Uh, whether you're a customer or a partner, please reach out to us. The best way to do it is through your local Cisco representative to get you in touch with the correct person. And with that, I would like to tell, uh, say many thanks for listening in to this session, and I hope that you have a great DevNet Create.